Find the value of x if x is between 0 and 2 pi. And we're looking for x if cosecant squared of x is equal to 4. So I'm going to start by actually bringing the 4 over to this side and factoring the expression. Um, this can be a difference of squares. So that's going to become cosecant of x minus 2 times cosecant of x plus 2 equals 0. And um, so that's going to give us cosecant of x minus 2 is 0. So cosecant of x is equal to 2. Or cosecant of x plus 2 equals 0. So cosecant of x equals negative 2. So I know that cosecant of x is 1 over sine x. So if I simplify this, or a cross multiply, sine of x is half. Hmm. Over here, same thing. We have 1 over sine x equals negative 2. Cross multiply, and sine of x is negative half. So basically, we're looking for the values of x that would allow sine of x to be half and negative half. And if you recall the 30, 60, 90 triangle, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, just going to quickly draw it here. Should have perhaps already drawn it. Um, 30, 60, 90, 1, 2, root 3. By taking a look at this triangle, we should be able to recognize that the sine of 30 degrees would be half, right? Because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, we can say already that x is 30 degrees. But we want x to be in radians. 30 degrees is pi over 6, of course. and Remember that in this case we actually have answers in every quadrant because sine is positive half as well as negative half. So let me draw a couple terminal arms here, actually four in total. So this is pi over six. We're also going to be looking at this over here. This over there. And finally, um, over here. But I'm not going to draw that right now. <laughs> so let's calculate the, these values though. If this is pi over 6, we want to measure the angle in the second quadrant. So we're going to go pi minus pi over 6 and obtain 5 pi over 6. So that's also an answer because sine of pi, 5 pi over 6 would also give us positive half since all students take calculus and sine is positive in quadrant 2. So now let's find the values of x that would make sine of x negative half. So the first one will be this guy here and we can basically add pi over 6 to pi and we're gonna get 7 pi over 6. And finally, in the last quadrant over here, let me pick a good color to draw the angle in right here. That is going to measure 2 pi minus pi over 6, which is 11 pi over 6. So the answer is right here. Hopefully that made good sense. If not, I suggest that you review a couple of videos right here on this website. Once again, thanks you thank you for watching.